Welcome to Pool City Farm. Today we're here with Carl and Candice. We're going to be making a very, very simple soup and flatbread with just the ingredients lying around your fridge. The recipe for the flatbread is very, very simple. It is equal parts flour to yogurt, roughly 250 grams, but it's play, it by, play it by eye. Yeah, you can use a cup or just straight into the bowl. Start putting in your flour. Okay, like that. Then again, the same with the yogurt, just roughly the same amount if you can. I'm try and leave enough for you. Just want to combine these ingredients together with a pinch of salt and roughly a teaspoon of baking powder. <laughs> Interested? That is looking rather soggy. Rather soggy. You might want to add just a little bit more flour. Just chuck <laughs> a whole thing in. <laughs> now we're gonna have to get our hands dirty. Onto the kneading. So what we need to do is get our dough out of the bowl onto your surface. Mine was much <laughs> thicker than I first anticipated. <laughs> Mine's <laughs> much more work than I anticipated. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a bit better than yours. I think honestly, yeah, you've managed, I think adding all that flour, I should have gone a bit more overboard with the flour, to be honest. That was not going on. <laughs> We're now going to start off with the fridge soup. Grab your ingredients that you brought. I've heard you're quite good at cutting up peppers. peppers Do you yeah. want to cut up the peppers for me? <laughs> I'll cut them up. So you start off with your, your onions, carrots and your celery and fry them off, soften them up a bit. Then later on you'll be adding your softer veg. So how long does it um, roughly take to actually make the whole entire soup together? It should only take about 20 to 30 minutes. I mean, it's not a long That's process really. Keep mixing it, just soften up that veg. This soup can use up anything you've got left over in the fridge. If you've got carrots or potatoes left over from a roast, etc. How's that looking? It's looking pretty good. Ideal. Smelling nice? Yeah, it smells pretty nice actually. It's sticking. Okay, yeah. Carrot just went flying. It smells quite nice actually. Lovely. Could you make it a light stock? Just add r roughly 400, 450 millimetres water. Just chuck it all in. It's fine. And now for the chopped tomatoes as well. Lovely. We could just add a few herbs to this one. Sprinkle a bit in, just add a bit of flavour to that. All the soft veg in now, so then we'll just let it simmer through after. I'm very picky. Yeah, I, they have to be nice and small so then. Because there's nothing worse, say if you were doing um, mash, you get a bit of odd bit of mash when, when you finish boiling the potatoes. There's nothing worse than that. Or lumpy mash. Go on. That is lovely. So yeah, there's no right or wrong way to this. I mean, it's just a simple soup and it, it's just using up any ingredient from your fridge. And for the greens, just tear pieces off. It's fine. Ta-da. Looking really good and it smells really good actually. It smells quite nice actually. Yeah. We'll just leave that now and then we'll get on with the flatbread. Okay. Let's have a look. Get, get your dough divided up in three or four. No, I do one just for me, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you need to make that would be like this thick. <laughs> so, yeah, a good tip is just to pop a bit of flour onto your rolling pin before you start rolling it out just so that the dough doesn't stick to it basically. Grab that. How do we make this thing work? <laughs> ah. Just pop the lid, yeah. Got it. Nice one. That'll come out of it quick. Get your flatbreads onto the pan. There's a bug in there. It's getting cooked. Extra flavour, that is. Where is it? Oh, all right, outside. That's disgusting. Look at that. <laughs> Ugh. Right, let me just clean this part. It doesn't matter if you overcook it, because you can always just break it up and use it as croutons, or I mean, if you cook too much of it, you can always use it the next day. It's not a problem. You can make like a batch of them or something. Like, yeah, if you're yeah, like working like long hours or make up a batch and use it the yeah. next day. Quite fine. Bit of ketchup. <laughs> Bit of ketchup. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's almost done, I reckon. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Pasta's cooked fine. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that is looking brilliant. That is looking. Delicious. 
It is weird though, like, <laughs> it's a weird shape. Would you say a recipe like this is useful for care experienced people? I'd use this, yeah. It gives you the ground basis of knowing what to put and obviously you spoke quite a lot for it, you can add anything you want. Yeah. So a lot of people might have like leftover, for instance, peppers, uh, broccoli for instance, yeah, or yeah. onions. They can just chuck it in there. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's a basic <laughs> cooking skill, so... Yeah, it's can... quite straightforward, really. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that does look ready. Didn't even take too long either. It's probably... About 20 minutes. Let's get ready to eat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Let's me. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> that bread looks lovely, actually. I've not even tried it yet. <laughs> I'm a bit afraid to mm. eat your flat bread. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've done a very good job on the flatbread. It's lovely. 